women in the world. Happy Women's Day. You know, joy. This day is full of joy to every woman, right? Because this day is the day where they, you know, start to get equality and justice, right? Look what my brother taught me. He says that I play an important role in his life after our mom, right? So, you know, I like that, you know, he tries to get me something like this. I appreciate it. He says that he appreciates me too. Well, let me put this aside or I can, you know, no longer control myself to this. Moving on. So today I will be talking about Women's Day and there are going to be subtopics in it. See, Women's Day is celebrated today in every year, like, uh, well, 8th of March. So this day is the day where women uh, are, you know, appreciated for their achievements. Uh, well, let's say economically and, uh, you know, let's say politically, right, and socially too. This is the day where they, you know, uh, come together, you know, make some events and talk about the equality for women and justice for them too. And, you know, they have some sign campaigns and also many things that will help them to reduce the problems of women and uh, their, you know, cases, their problems. So our uh, our video is going to be divided into three subtopics which are going to be well, eh let me think that's going to be a uh, first uh, why do we need an international women's day the second one is going to be uh, yeah the second one is going to be the history of women's day the third one's going to be mm, <laughs> well you have to say yeah, it's something that what happens on the 8th of March. You know, the last part's too exciting, but also the rest of the video. So the first one is, why do we need an International Women's Day? See, for example, to explain you the situation of women, I can tell you, suppose uh, there, there is a man and a woman. The man is a senior manager in a hair product company. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, the man is a senior manager in a hair product company. And uh, the woman is on the other branch's same post. So she is uh, that branch's senior manager too. Uh, now, let's compare their salaries. Huh. The man is, uh, suppose the man is paid one lakh per month. The woman, in turn, Vera, is, uh, you know, she is given uh, much less money for the same amount of job. And, you know, the responsibility too. You know why? Because of the gender inequality. Because she is a woman and he is a man. That is not right. That is injustice. That is inequality. And nobody likes that. But... Things like this still happen all around the world. But, you know, we need an International Women's Day because that will help us solve all the problems. And, you know, why not start from this day? That's a real question. Why not start from this day? See, women are play, uh, you know, they, sorry, uh, forget, uh, forget I said played, I said paid, right? Uh, women are paid a much lesser amount of money than men. Why? Because of gender inequality, right? Suppose there are two friends, one of them is black, one of them is white. Both face uh, the problems of injustice and inequality, but some, somewhat... Somewhat, in somewhat amount, the black woman faces much, much, uh, m much more bigger problems, much more inequality, much more uh, uh, gender injustice, gender inequality. Why? Because she is black. 
and that is racism that's just people being racist a couple of be a couple of people being racist and nobody likes that so all people around the world who are racist or you know they might not call themselves that they might just say well what is true what is right but that is not true that is not right because every woman is deserved to be loved dearly all throughout the world so every woman should be treated with equality, care, uh, happiness, merrily, and of course, you know, uh, she should be given justice and equality. Now, after that, our second subtopic is the history of 8th March. The history of 8th March. Hmm, let's see. In 1908, in America, all throughout the country, but especially in New York, more than 50,000 women, they went on like a strike. Yeah, a strike because they were getting paid so much less than men. See, men are here. Women are. Women were here at that time in 1908 you know in amount of uh, money you know the money uh, the amount of money they got paid it's it's just so not right they uh, they came together and on a strike they were and you know why they women you know why women uh, you know do strikes because after doing a strike or like doing a petition, uh, they can uh, pass it to higher levels, uh, you know, try to let them understand the message, to explain the message to them. And also when the higher authorities can hear about this, they can change the laws of the country or they can do something about it. Positive. So that is good. That is uh, that is somewhat uh, that is somewhat you know uh, keeping women uh, from getting a, you know getting injustice that is not keeping sorry not keeping from women getting injustice they will get justice if the higher authorities will do something about it right now after that uh, let's just say um, uh, that today in 1908 uh, they went on a strike. More than 50,000 women in New York went on a strike. And later that year, on 8th of March, I mean today, but in 1908, they, uh, the United States of America declared Women's Day, at, uh, sorry, 8th of March as a national holiday and a national women's day. Right. And after some years in Copenhagen, Denmark, there were a conference. There was a conference uh, at uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. And in that conference, well, let's just uh, say that they also declared uh, the 8th of March as a national holiday and a national women's day in their country, too. Right. This is called power. This is literally power, social power. And political power there are many names uh, possible for this after that in 1975 yeah I want to go with 75 the United Nations declared uh, Women's Day as a international holiday and an international Women's Day they declared it now it was official everybody was happy right our uh, our third subtopic is what happens on 8th of march in many countries see in many countries uh, women's day is celebrated how uh, men and children little children cute they're cute and you know they they give uh, they give some presents and uh, also well let's say they give flowers they give cards to their wives mothers uh, and sisters and uh, you know or any women they uh, in their life or any women they know to uh, to tell them that they appreciate her you know they they are so happy to be a part of her life right and that that just helps women emotionally socially economically politically that helps her in many ways now in but this is this is not this is not the main purpose of women's day many people in uh, on women's day start some uh, 
campaigns or like some some uh, for some days they have like events that uh, show about the in uh, the equality uh, and justice that should be deserved for uh, deserved by women and they should not be treated unequally and in ju uh, you know they should be given justice so after all of this after the history after we saw that what happens on 8th of march i think that every woman needs to be loved dearly right that will help her in many ways and that will just brighten up her life so you know if we if we uh, start one step little uh, you know one little step today forward we can start our 100 mile journey by foot slowly but progressively and one day when you reach the hundredth mile you will be happy to achieve what you once wanted right and there will be one day uh, you know uh, there will be one day when there will be no problem related to women inequality or injustice just left and at the end of time, at the end of universe, there should be, uh, there should be no uh, breaking of laws about women. Now, well, let's see. Uh, there are many women throughout the world who helped so many other women to gain equality and justice. Like just in India. Well, just take examples from India. Uh, let's say Gunjan Saxena. Uh, there are many categories in this, like Gunjan Saxena or let's say Kalpana Chawla and well, uh, Savitri Bai Phule and also Anandi Bai Zoshi and many, many women. And you know, uh, Savitri Bai Phule, she helped uh, women uh, to, you know, help in study. Uh, before before uh, her of coming uh, there were no studies you know so much little studies by women but she is the reason i go to school today she is the reason that i am speaking english right here right now so you know i give every woman in india who uh, who you know you know uh, gave equality and justice to other women Right? And I depend on that. Everybody depends on that. So every woman throughout the world, happy Women's Day. Deserve. You're des you deserve it. Right? Bye.